In 111 days, the Earth will be no more. On December 4th, humanity will come face to face with its greatest trial yet. To survive, when Xenoblade Chronicles X hits store shelves. In the remaining days, we must prepare for our journey across the stars and through the uncharted wilds of planet Mira, our new home. To keep you informed and vigilant, the builders of the legacy after the destruction of Earth, also known as Blade, have assembled this five-part video series to ready you for your perilous mission. A grand destiny awaits. In this first survival guide, we will prepare you for the quest at hand. Specifically, we will focus on New Los Angeles, Blade, and the missions that will define your future. New Los Angeles, also known as NLA, is one of the last bastions of humanity. Here, survivors of the wrecked USS White Whale live their lives, striving for progress in the face of adversity. NLA was modeled after the original West Coast city of the same name and is composed of four different districts. The commercial district provides NLA's entertainment with cafes, restaurants, general stores, apparel shops, and more. The residential district houses everyone that lives in NLA. Here, you can visit a church or check out local parks. The industrial district features towering plants used for food production and weapons development, including the mobile armored suits known as Skells. You may also find an ally named Doug hanging out in this area. The Blade District is the heart of New Los Angeles, home to Blade Headquarters. In this area, you can shop for weapons and armor, park your skells, customize your Blade Barracks, browse the mission board, and recruit characters such as Elma. How you choose to utilize the Blade District will greatly impact your progress on Planet Mira, so it makes sense to familiarize yourself with this area. You may be asking who or what is Blade? Our military organization was formed to contract various duties on planet Mira, such as securing areas, maintaining civil order, and rescuing survivors. After you join Blade, you will select and sign up for one of the eight divisions. Although each division has a specialty, your activities will not be limited by the division you belong to. You will receive more division points when working on your division's recommended activities, so make sure to pick a division that suits you. Here's a breakdown of what each division has to offer. Pathfinders are a division focused on data probe installation and reconnaissance. Members of this division experience increased HP recovery over time. Interceptors specialize in defeating indigenous species and completing missions. Joining this division increases the damage dealt by ranged weaponry. Harriers also specialize in felling indigents and tyrants as well. Choosing this division increases the damage dealt by melee weapons. Reclaimers are utilized for treasure box retrieval and data probe installation around planet Mira. This division has a higher chance of obtaining items from enemies. Curators gather collectibles and slay tyrants. They have an increased chance of landing critical hits. Prospectors collect resources while scouting locations. Join this division to decrease the amount of damage you receive in battle. Outfitters invest in Meranium in arms manufacturers. Enlisting as an outfitter will increase the commercial points you obtain. Mediators focused on quest completion. While tension points usually accumulate during auto attacks, only as a mediator, you will earn them while using arts as well. As you travel around NLA and Planet Mira, you'll encounter individuals who will task you with various missions. These come in four different types that yield rewards, such as money, items, experience, and more. Here is where your story on Planet Mira will really take off. For this reason, we call these missions story missions. They're the most important of all. As you progress on Planet Mira, it is these missions that will guide you toward unlocking your scale license. There are more than a dozen story missions, broken down to what we call chapters. However, you cannot merely progress from chapter to chapter. All story missions have multiple unique requirements, such as explore a percentage of a continent and complete specific affinity missions. 
Certain party members will occasionally be required, and they will have to achieve a certain experience level to join in. You can find story missions by locating the red paper icon inside the Blade Barracks. Affinity missions are great for building bonds with other party members and residents of NLA. They are also the key to unlocking story missions. You can find Affinity missions all throughout planet Mira by locating the orange handshake icon in the surrounding area. There are a lot of different people to build relationships with, so be sure to check your Affinity chart. Normal missions can be accepted from people with a red question mark icon above their heads. They can be found anywhere on planet Mira and can often unlock additional quests and special rewards. Beyond story missions, normal missions provide a lot of background information. They're a great way to get to know the citizens of NLA and additional party members. Simple job orders can be found on the mission control board outside the Blade Barracks. These missions are a great way to earn quick cash and items, but they can also unlock special features, such as the ability to redesign your outfit and facial features. You can select up to 20 orders at a time, so it's a good idea to get as many as possible while venturing out in the wild. As you can see, there are many missions you can take on in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Here are some additional tips while venturing out in Mira. If you are searching for your destination, don't forget to follow the golden arrow on the minimap, or use the follow ball. Both of these features will lead you straight to your destination. When using your minimap, areas highlighted in yellow indicate that your objectives are within this location. Also, if you see enemies with a green exclamation point above their heads, defeat them to complete the mission that required their extermination. If you want to change your current navigation target, you can by going into the menu, selecting missions, and changing the navigation target to a different mission. But don't forget, you can complete multiple missions while venturing around the planet. Each month until Earth's destruction, we will release one more survival guide. Be sure to check out our next video, where we will discuss combat mechanics, including arts, classes, soul voice, advanced tactics, and more. Until then, share this guide with your friends, family, and anyone else who deserves a chance to survive.